What's nice about my job is that both the nurseries and the Christmas tree like us to come and help them out and to get their product where it needs to go. They bring these in with the, the helicopters and drop these bunches. And then you can see what they're doing is they're shaking and then they're bailing. Those are the ones that, that I actually inspect. Gary will pound the tree three times. And what that does is hopefully dislodge any, um, any critters that might be hiding in there. And as you can see, there's not a there's not a whole lot crawling around. That's what we like. It's not like a government inspector where, oh no, the inspector's here. That's what's really nice about my job, is the relationship that you can develop with the growers. Doing a great job there, Gary. Pound that thing real hard. One. Looks great. We'll find what I would call a problem tree. In other words, there's always trees that don't look just right. They're off color. And I like to see what's in that tree because that'll tell me um, kind of what's out here, if, if it is out here. Primarily what I'm looking for is needle midge. The other insect I'm looking for is Douglas fir twig weevil. Oh, there you go. This is the larvae of the Doug fir twig weevil and it feeds on the inside of that twig. This is what Mexico's looking for. These trees can go to California. These trees can go to New York. See how that tree's a little off color? We'll go see what we can find on that tree. This right here is a perfect example. See how that just sits up against the sky? We're gonna open this up and just see if we find anything. Perfectly clean, good, that's good news. So it's not like they're in every tree. Walking the fields, looking at the trees, you're usually by yourself watching the hawks. It's just you and the hawks and the trees. But in the fall, when it's still warm, the skies are blue, walking these fields out in the middle of nowhere, that's the best part. After you've looked at all these trees all this season, do you want to bring one into your house? No. <laughs> uh, I like seeing them and I like seeing them all decorated, but no, I'm done.